Haven't done one of these in a pretty long time. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's fitting that this would be the video coming back. Something that is a, a, an event that is pretty close to me as I've been with this show ever since the beginning. Ever since 2015. When did it start? Like January 2015. So I've been with this show a lot. I've seen it go... I've seen it grow into like this really big thing on the internet. I've just seen it and now it's over. It's gone. And the finale, eh, I got some stuff to say about it. Most notable the question. So, so that's how it ends. Because um, the content of the episode, it, everything that I, everything bad that I thought was going to happen happened right everything bad that i thought was gonna happen happened i said that something's gonna get rushed it's gonna be either the moon and star relationship the starco thing or the mina fight and in the finale all three got rushed just to focus on starco and they didn't even do a good job of that as a full finale itself as a standalone episode it it's fine okay it's fine but as a finale, it is awful. Just, just awful. And today I'm going to be going into the content as I have a lot more stuff to talk about in other videos I'm going to be releasing out today. Uh, speaking of videos releasing out today, I'm going to be releasing them hourly if my internet will allow it. If you see this, then I'm releasing them hourly. So yeah, you're gonna get a lot of content from me today. This is, video is gonna be on the main channel, and then the next video is gonna be on the second channel. So subscribe to my second channel. All those links will be in the description. Um, the content of the episode. Okay, so it it picks up where we left off in the tavern at the end of the multiverse, where she's like, "I want to destroy the magic." Moon questions it, is this a good idea, you know, it goes out like a typical thing. My problem is the rushing of it. And then the end. The end, it was cool, but it kind of pissed me off. Just, just just a little. Just a little. I don't, I don't know why, because the end is just Star and Marco standing there as the portal explodes. And merges Muni and Earth into one dimension, thus proving that the round table was right again, and the cartoon and the cartoon industry learns nothing. <sighs> That's what I'm trying to say is um <laughs> not a lot of content in this episode. It did not feel like a series finale to me. Sure, all the questions were answered. But, I don't know, there just wasn't that closure event. And, now I kind of want to see more of this world. Muni and Earth are one. And the show is over, it's not coming back. Now I kind of want to see more of this world. That's the problem I have with series finales. They, uh, when they end off on that happily ever after, I want to see that happily ever after. It's, I, I, I don't know why, it's just, it, it's just something about me just once. To see that happily ever after. To see the characters that I saw grow. Experience their lives without tension. I don't know. Okay, as for the content of the episode, I I'm pretty sure, like, the main crap was, like, a good 11 minutes. The other 11 minutes was just oh, reacting like, oh, I'm not going to see Marco anymore. Oh, hey, woe is me. Even though, coming into the episode... I knew that crap wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna happen. Also, in the promo, this episode shows that a lot of stuff that we saw in the promo didn't matter. That horse thing that we thought, that horse stab that Marco got, that we thought he was gonna be tainted with dark magic, he was gonna die. Uh-uh. Didn't even matter. I I'm telling you, it didn't even matter. At the end of the episode, he was like, I got stabbed by a unicorn. I thought he was going to change. I thought he was going to be weaker than you and talk. But it, it didn't have any effect on him. I'm sorry, but if you get stabbed by a magical unicorn, you're feeling that shit. And... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my 
God. It's just like all that tension that was just built up in the promo, it, it, it just dissipates as soon as you watch the epi- actual episode. You might as well just watch the promo at this point. You might as well just watch the promo. And just see that as the series finale, I guess. Because the promo is a better series finale than the actual series finale. And it's just like, okay, so if all magic is destroyed, right? She destroyed all magic. Moon, Star, Eclipsa, and Meteora. Also, Eclipsa and Meteora's Mubity forms were pretty cool. Don't know how Meteora did it, seeing as how she's a baby and you don't go through puberty or muberty until you're in the 10 to 14 age. So that that kind of that kind of weirded me out, but it honestly it had no reprimand to the entire episode. I just thought that was pretty cool. So if they destroyed all the magic at the end of the episode, why was there a portal? Why? All the magic, right? They, y- y'all just have to put Storm and Marco together. It couldn't just end on them being separated. The episode is called Cleave for Sorry, Christ's sakes. And nothing got cleaved. The only thing that got cleaved was this show from the fan base. Is, is that why they called it Cleave? Because, bye-bye, we're going to leave you off with this shitty-ass uh, series finale, and uh, we're not going to do anything about it. Oh, you want uh, 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 you, you, you to see the universe? You you, you want to see the universe to the... um. You want to see the universe? Uh, Muni and Earth are one thing. Uh, uh, no, you get nothing, okay? That kind of pissed me off. I was like, okay, fine. And this show that I spent time into is gone, and it leaves me off on a pretty bad send-off. I'm talking about Steven Universe type of bad send-off, guys. This is, like, don't get me wrong, I like Steven Universe, but they have some pretty bad send-offs. So you, and if you're a fan of the show, you know that. You have to see it with a critical lens. This was a pretty bad send-off. And unlike Change Your Mind in Steven Universe, I didn't leave with questions. But I did leave with more intrigue. Actually, I did leave with a question. Why the fuck was the portal there? They destroyed all magic. I don't care about the, oh, Destiny. Oh, what they did. I don't fucking care. Magic's supposed to be dead. They were in Glossary's home. Also, Glossary's dead. R.I.P. Glossary, by the way. R.I.P. Glossary. Glossary is just gone, guys. In the magic dimension, in well, what used to be the magic dimension, they were just, they were just hugging. And it was like this magic thing, and in my mind, I'm thinking, magic is dead. Why? Why are they? Why are they really about to pull this crap? They're just it, it angers me, man. Cause such a good show, such a good show, had to end in one of the worst ways possible. A, firstly. Starco became a thing at the end of the show, so we never even got to see that blossom. We got to see a blossom, blossom, if you want to say, but not really. Even in the last episode, we got nothing. We just got them being affectionate for each other and didn't want to leave each other, which is things which are things that do best friends do. Look, I'm not look, I'm not faulting it. Okay. I'm not faulting it. I'm just saying, if you want them to be together, um, I know these are teenage. I know these are teenagers, but I'm a teenager too, so fuck you. Um, maybe if you're literally gonna say in the universe that they're boyfriend and girlfriend, maybe have them show a little more affection than I want to leave you. Maybe. Oh, actually, I don't know who I'm talking about. They did not want to leave them because Star went back in the magic dimension. To go to Earth, and Marco went back in the magic dimension to go to Muni, and Glossa was like, "Well, the Earth was gone, but Marco's still here." And, and that was a nice moment. You know what? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. That was a nice moment. Overall, the finale as an episode, it's okay, but as a send off, it's pretty just bad. The the Mina thing, man. She doesn't even. 
All her arc ends with her going into the woods. No joking. Her arc ends with her going into the woods. And that is kind of messed up. Okay. Everything's back to normal, right? Um, Globgor is not going to die, which is cool. They don't have their cheek marks anymore. I want to see how that's going to react. They don't got magic no more. I, I guess you could say... I mean, Glossary's dead. Hecapu, Omnitraxes, Rhymbelis, they're all gone. It, it, it is shown that they're all gone. And I think that's a proper send-off for them, except for Glossary. Because I'm kind of sucked. I started hating them after I figured out that they hid Meteora from the Queens, right? And that was kind of messed up. And then all they did was just escalate and escalate and escalate their just hatred of, oh, a monster being in the throne. It, it, to be honest, them dying, Romulus, especially Romulus dying, was okay to me. I didn't feel any emotional value. And then it ends with Star Marco walking together. And the end credits camera pans up, and it's over. It's over. Even in the episode, it's like an abbreviated version of like the theme song, just so we can get to the actual content. And that didn't work. I don't know. Maybe I would have been more happy if there was like a future montage where we get to see all see all this in the future, where we get to see Star and Marcos relationship blossom to something even greater. We get to see Moon and River, what they're up to, how Meteora grows up, if she ever gets with Mary Bosa, right? Didn't y'all promise her that? Yeah, they didn't even let Meteora see Mary Bosa. I mean, probably they're going to while their dimensions are merged together, but I don't know because the show's over and they're not going to elaborate on this thing, right? They're never going to elaborate on it, so... If anything, I like it, but at the same time, I don't. Mm. It's finale, if I had to give it a score, 5 out of 10. Shriek, Renegade, out.